Hello viewers, I am Dr. Shailesh Kumar Garge. Today in our Ask Doctor series, we'll see um, some of the patient who has um, the, uh, written their comments or and asked their doubts in our videos. So one of the patient is asking, Sir, kindly guide me about fibroid removal after UFE. Doctor did my UFE in August 2023, but still I feel the fibroid. Can you guide me on, guide me what to do next? I'm really worried about my family planning. It's been like 1.5 years of my marriage and I don't have a child. So if the, if the fibroids are large, they may take, take a little longer time to shrink after UFE. If it's and sometimes it may not shrink beyond a certain size, but that fibroid uh, can be a dead fibroid because uh, we have uh, in the UFE uh, the blood supply to the fibroids is, is stopped completely. So, but uh, because of the large size of fibroids, sometimes these fibroids can have multiple blood supplies, um, uh, small, small, tiny blood from the adjacent organs like bladder, rectum, or pelvic uh, tissues. So they continue to feed in the periphery of the lens, continue to remain um, alive um, uh, in certain cases or in certain cases they may become completely dead but they may not shrink beyond a certain size. In that case you may have to undergo the myomectomy, the laparoscopic myomectomy or the open myomectomy depending upon the residual fibroid that is remaining. So definitely if the fibroid has shrunken and still some part is remaining then you can go for myomectomy. If the fibroid is very large um, and uh, doctor, uh, if the doctor is good and expert in the myomectomy, whether it's open or uh, open or laparoscopic, you can still go for my myomectomy directly. Uh, so these are the two options. You can go for a second session you, to want to reduce the fibroid size because the larger the fibroids, um, then there are more chances of bleeding during the myomectomy, and sometimes you may doctor may end up uh, in doing the hysterectomy uh, because of the complication or risk associated with the myomectomy. So to reduce that, you can go for embolization to reduce the size and reduce the vascularity or blood supply to the fibroids, which will help in definitely help in the myomectomy procedure. So I hope uh, this answer will solve your doubt. Um, uh, and you you can consult a good um, gynecologist or uh, laparoscopic surgeon who can uh, do uh, this. So another patient asking uh, question that is, sir, Naku uh, PCOD, bulky uterus, two fibroids small, please treatment. So uh, this patient has multiple um, issues that is a PCOD problem, usually the periods pain and the uh, periods irregularity causing due because of the hormonal changes from the ovary. Another is the same, the hormonal changes going in bulky uterus and the fibroids in the so here, if you control the PCOD, uh, the bulky nature of the uterus and the small fibroids, they may shrink or they may remain at that stage only. So try to first control the PCOD and um, see if your p p bulky uterus and the fibroids, they shrink or remain in the same size. And if it's small size, you uh, small fibroids, um, usually they don't cause any trouble or symptoms, um, um, the smaller fibroids. Um, sir, I am in Bangalore. I have to come uh, uh, Hyderabad to treat embolization fibroid. Please reply. Uh, this is a one-day uh, procedure, so you have to come to the hospital for the treatment. Uh, the treatment will be done in 30 minutes to one hour, and you will be kept in under observation for 12 to 24 hours, and uh, after that you will be discharged. Sir, na uh, another patient. Sir, now for 30 years, now for 6.6 undi. Uh, in pillalu um, leru so 30 years 6.6 .6 fibroid is a large fibroid um, if it is pressing on the uterus cavity where the baby sits then it can cause um, problems with your fertility so you may, may, may not be becoming conceiving and uh, even if you conceive then early abortions can occur so um, if you are not able to conceive and you don't have kids better to get it removed either with the myomectomy or go for the embolization treatment if it's single my uh, single fibroid myomectomy is as good as the uh, embolization in this case sir good mo uh, good morning sir naaku uterine fibroid unnai naaku pillal leru sir um, Nano aim treatment is called sir. So uh, it it, uh, it it depends upon <coughs> the fibroid size. 
and how many fibroids are there and what is their location so if any choose kuna tarvata ne then we can uh, tell uh, which correct uh, treatment is correct if you have um, um, uh, these reports uh, which has in a uh, detailed reports you can whatsapp them in the number given below uh, will be particularly see in your particular case we'll be see, seeing the report and give be able to guide you correctly which treatment is better option for you uh, hope i i could give you the answers which you have asked and if you have any more questions or doubts please ask them in our comment box i'll be happy to read them and answer them in our next video thank you